everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we will talk about schedule trigger so in our previous video we discussed how do we run the pipeline with the help of trigger but that was a manual trigger remember when you go to the pipeline you have an option to execute your pipeline or trigger your pipeline manually but what if you would like to execute a pipeline on a particular schedule for an example the pipeline should be executed every 10 minutes every 15 minutes or once in a day once in a month bi-weekly so if you would like to perform a scheduled timeline execution for a schedule based execution for your pipeline then how do you configure the trigger for that this is what we are going to look at in this demonstration so i'll be using the same pipeline which we have provisioned in the last demonstration so if you have not visit the last demonstration then i will recommend that you follow the other video which we have published it previously now as this is our pipeline right now uh, which is performing the copy activity like i mentioned in the previous video you can trigger this pipeline once i trigger the pipeline that will basically trigger it and the actual run you can view it here in the monitoring section so the number of instances you perform for the pipeline that will be visible here in the all pipeline you can see that my previous one which we have demonstrated in the previous run that was visible here but the new instance which i have just now triggered from the pipeline is visible here now here you can perform multiple options like you can stop a pipeline or cancel a pipeline which is then getting executed in case if you want to cancel it due to some reason you can straight away cancel it right and that will give you an option like do you want to cancel it or not now coming back to the objective how do you want to perform the trigger based pipeline for that you have to first of all specify the trigger now to specify the trigger there are two options you can go to the manage option right and from the manage you have the author and then you have the trigger option from here you can create a trigger let's say create a trigger for a pipeline let's say trigger we are going to call it run every minute right that's the trigger option i've given so now this is a trigger type which is a schedule type by default there are other types as well like tumbling window storage event custom event we'll talk about those but in the separate video but for this we are talking about time based trigger so Let's say that this is our schedule which we want to define the schedule start time which is going to be when the schedule should be applied on the pipelines right. So the schedule can be applied right from this particular time which is start time the time zone for the schedule time and then the recurrence of the schedule like I mentioned it a recurrence we need is every minute so I'm going to say every minutes if you would like to perform any other recurrence like every hours days weeks months you can specify that recurrence right here now if you would like to stop your trigger after a certain period of time let's say end date then you can specify the end date like this right so as of now I'm not going to specify any end date just for the demonstration this is an option which you can select so as soon as i am going to click ok on the trigger so that will start the trigger and that will have the very first instance of the trigger so let me just click ok so that will create a trigger but as it is created a trigger right now it's stopped if i'm going to click on start it will say that it should basically okay so that's it started now now let's go back to the pipeline right now i what i can do is i can connect to this pipeline add trigger now instead of triggering it manually i'll say add new or edit trigger and from this drop down i can specify the trigger which i would like to use with the pipeline so trigger every minute trigger which i can specify and then uh, if you would like to have a modify the details of that trigger that's absolutely fine so let me just click ok so now as I was expect, uh, expecting this trigger will not be applicable to this pipeline unless you publish the trigger. So we have created the trigger but we have not published the trigger. As you can see that here the publish option is showing that it's still to be published. So let me just first of all publish the trigger or publish the changes in fact and then we will reapply the trigger to the pipeline. 
so the retrigger is published successfully now let's go back to the or add new or edit new option so where we have selected our triggers previously so let's just wait for this trigger to be executed automatically so as we have already applied the trigger now we'll go to the monitoring section and we'll see that if the trigger is already been executed on the particular time as you can see that it has started at 12:42, which is a timeline maybe started just a minute after the trigger has been created now after a minute it will again automatically start because we have asked trigger to run every minute or so so i'll wait for another minute and then see if that is going to be executed automatically so while we are waiting for it the other option you can look for is the trigger runs that will show that whether the trigger which we have created is executed or not as you can see that there are two options uh, two triggers which is run one is on 1242 and then other one is 1243 so which means that our next trigger might have already started right so if i go back to the pipeline you can see that the next trigger is already started the pipeline and now at 1243 the pipeline is running again right so that's the schedule based trigger now other thing to mention here about the pipelines and trigger is you can have one or more triggers attached to your pipeline as you can see here so currently this pipeline has got this trigger which is the trigger of, of the which is a time based trigger which is running on every one minute but let's say i would like to attach another trigger to that so let's say that a trigger which will run on every three minutes for an example or every two minutes for an example then i can have a assign this trigger as well right so this is my trigger i'll say that every three minutes i'll not say start trigger you have to first of all publish it so as the trigger is already attached but i'm going to publish it so let's publish the trigger which is of running every three minutes so now what does it what's happening now is we have a pipeline which has got two scheduled trigger one is every running one is going to run a pipeline every three minutes one is going to run pipeline every one minute so just to show you that a pipeline can have a multiple triggers even though multiple schedule trigger or one schedule trigger one event based trigger or it could be permutation combination of each of these so likewise you can configure your pipeline and that will automatically run now isn't this interesting that you do not have to run your pipeline manually you don't have to trigger your pipeline manually it's all automated and your triggers will work like a windows scheduled event and it will perform the job which you have specified in the pipeline mm -hmm. so let's wait for the confirmation whether the pipeline has been run or not i'll go back to the monitoring section again so here as you can see that every minute or so our pipelines are running so we have got these runs and now if i go back to the triggers as of now only i've run every minute trigger has run on every minute basis and it is targeting to one pipeline so it's other way around it may possible that you can have a trigger targeted to one pipeline or you can have a trigger targeted to many many pipelines similarly a pipeline can have many triggers and a trigger can have be associated to many pipelines so it is many to many relationship right so as of now you can see that this trigger is targeting to this only one pipeline similarly the other trigger is targeting to only one pipeline but like i said you can have an option uh, you have an option to set up a many to many relationship one pipeline many triggers uh, a trigger can have many pipeline associated with that right 